Hey, Sneaky Nose back again today. Back in today, we've got Manjaro Box, or it's Manjaro, 0.88 of course, but we're using Open Box. Now, Open Box is a really, really good desktop environment. If you don't like clutter, you don't like all the rubbish on your desktop, you just want to get your work done super fast, yeah? Because it is, that's what it does. Super fast stuff, yeah, baby. Got a bit of conky going down, you can see. So my CPU's doing that, let's see here, 35%? Yeah, that's all right. Remember, I'm recording at the same time, it's a full installation on a dual core. 2 gig machine with 4 gig of RAM or 3.5, something like that. I can't remember anyway. Yes, that's full install on that. <clears throat> now, we are using 423 of RAM, and even when not recording, it is rather RAM hungry. Now, I had this problem in Manjaro before, and then all of a sudden it got fixed, but obviously not in this version, so something needs to be sorted about the RAM usage. Because, especially using Openbox, it shouldn't be using nothing at all, really. Now, obviously, using open box, you get your key shortcuts. So we have to drag a window, shift, and left mouse. To toggle your desktop, we have super D. Super key is the one with the old thing widget on it, you know. The one with nothing to be spoken ever again. For your file manager, I might as well do it. So your super key and F should bring up my file manager, like so. There you go, it's all there. Super duper, nice, lovely, jubbly, jubbly, blubbly, blubbly, blubbly. Your D menu, and you can open Synapse, so if I do Super S again, so if I do Super... I remember what S is, by the way. And say so I want to get a program, for instance, Abbey Word, so... Abbey Word's there over there, so I can just do that, bish, bosh, bish, and in theory, Abbey Word will come up, just like that. Super. Now, when you actually install it, you don't get nothing with it. You don't even get a browser, you get bugger all, basically, bugger all. Oh, while we're here, we'll see what version of uh, Abbey Word we're using. It's 286, another one, but it does the job. Does what it says on the let in. You know what I'm saying? Of course you do. Yeah, that's why you're watching, isn't it? What else we got on the top? Oh, another super key is super logout and super terminal and stuff like that. As you can see up in my left hand corner here, my little bar, we have recall my desktop, which I'm using to recall at the moment because I couldn't be bothered to compile Voco screen. My Ethernet connection. Now, that little like, Pac Man thing there, right? It was Pac Man Monster, isn't it? Is it Pac Man Monster? It could be, couldn't it? That's Opti or Octi. Let's have a look. Oh, Octopi, sorry. Octopi, yes. That's actually to get all your software and keep your software up to date, which is rather good. And here we have a little clipboard manager, your sound, and over here, as you can see, I had it open. That was that thing I should open it. Anyway, let's get back and down and see what we got and the things I've installed just to get it working so you can have a look, okay? So you right click the desktop and you get a mini menu. In here, you get Thunar for your file manager, the terminal. Take a screenshot and nitrogen to change your desktop background. Now, I'm not going to do that at the moment, because it's perfectly all right for what I'm going to show you. But I just want to show you that Manjaro does actually work quite well in all desktop environments, except E17. I've not had much luck with that one, but we'll come to that another time. But under accessories, bearing in mind I've installed quite a bit of stuff here. Okay? You get 7-Zip, Archive Manager, a bulk rename tool, Compton. Leafpad, LX Terminal, Parcel Light, Screenshot, Synapse, as we've all done before, and Thuna again. Under Development, we get Genie, an OpenJDK Policy Tool, and QT stuff. Right, Drivers and Support. Now, before we go any further, when you first boot Manjaro, you'll get two options. You'll get the free and non-free. Now, if you choose the non-free, which I do say you do, if you've got an NVIDIA card or an AMD card, it will actually install them drivers for you, and you won't have to install the graphics card drivers that way. Next here is full multimedia support. This installs all the codecs that you need to do your videos, your DVDs, MP3s, Flash, and stuff like that. Okay. Then you've also got installed the full Arch user repository. I've done that as well. Full printing support. You need to do that when you're doing printing, of course. And a graphical software manager, which I'm going to show you in a minute, which is Octopi, which we just have a look at. Okay. And then also, we've got installed the Manjaro settings manager, which is no big deal, really, to be honest with you. All right, no big deal. Okay, under graphics, all you get basically is a document viewer and view noir. Now, I've actually installed Gimpage, okay? It's a bit of tea right here. Nice cup of tea, yeah. Well, decaf, of course. Mm. And as you can see, if you look up here, our RAM's gone, ooh, hello, let's use some RAM. As you can see, it comes up rather nice. That's what it says on the tin. Nice, okay. See you later. Anyway, under multimedia, you basically only get the GNOME ELSA mixer. That's all you get. I've actually installed Clementine, recording my desktop, and the Pulse audio volume control. Basically, so I can get some decent audio going down while I'm recording and talking to you now, okay? Yeah, baby. Under network, 
I've installed two browsers, Firefox and Chromium, which we'll come to in a minute. All right, under Office, I've installed Abbey Word, as we've just seen, but you can install the full LibreOffice suite. It's got a little installer here if you want the whole suite. Remember, it's around about 300 meg to download. It's not too big these days. Internet speeds are so getting so high now. 3, 400, 500 meg is no big deal at all, really, is it? Right, under Settings, because you've installed all the other bits and bobs and all the extras, you get all this, okay? So firewall configuration, keyboard and mouse settings, monitor settings, network connections, your NVIDIA settings. So if I click on my NVIDIA settings, in theory, it should come up. Whether it will or not. Oh, here it is, look. Here you can bring it down here so you can see. And that's the one I'm using here. If I go to PowerMizer, I can't do anything more. This is just an air-cooled card in this test machine. Because it does the job. It's better than on-board graphics at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. It's a GeForce 8400, by the way. Well, well, you can pick them up for around, new around about £15 now. And if you just want to get a machine off the ground, and it's old, probably the way to go, to be honest with you. And then, we'll quit that. Yeah, we want to quit that, yeah. And then, what else we got here? Oh, yeah, I forgot now. Okay. Done office and we've done settings, yeah. Also, done in settings, you can do your panel tint, your preferred, preferred applications, privilege granting, and stuff like that. Advanced settings, you can change your conky stuff. Open box menu generator and stuff like that. Open box itself, reconfigure the open box, and your Pac-Man servers to get your mirrorless all working hunky dory. Under system, we have our add and remove stuff as well, as I said before. The other here's your config browser, all other stuff down here, including more firewall, same thing again. G parted, H top, your system profiler, UX term, and X term. Now I'm going to open a H top just so it's about the same as it was up there. Now, as you can see, by while I'm looking at this, it's not really using much CPU at all, really, because considering I'm recording using a Super 1920 by 1080p we've got on this machine here, yeah, it's a big screen. The bigger the screen, the more power your machine's going to have to have. So if you've got a nice small screen, it'll be okay. As soon as you start upgrading to these big ones, your machine wants to go, ooh, baby. Using the 464, yeah, it's not too bad. It's still more than I would expect, though, okay? Anyway, that's enough that one. What else down the system? That's basically it. You also got lock screen and log out. So we're going to go back to network and we're going to pop our browser for you. And the browser today will be Firefox. Oh yeah. And it goes straight to the Manjaro page. So that's pretty good, isn't it? Looks all right. Tells you all about it. You can get all your Manjaro stuff here if you want to. So if we go to Get Manjaro, it's just there. I'll be able to do that. XFC version is the one I prefer. To be really honest with you, yeah, it's super duper. Other people don't. This is the open box version, which we're using now. Does everything you really needed to do, but slimmer and faster. Okay. Right, the KDE version I have used. I'm not a KDE lover. There's lots of you out there that love it. Then you get the net edition as well, which is just basic stuff. Then it's all the community editions. We'll go to Google. Hang on. Just for me tea. Okay. And we'll go to, we might as well go to the tube, might as well check it out. And we can make sure all our stuff is working. Yeah, 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 go away. So if we put me in here, that's my channel, it says yes on the tin. And it goes straight here. Shall I play a video? I could do, couldn't I? If I could be bothered. But you know what? No, no, I'll just no, 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 Anyway, <clears throat> let's have a look, shall we? We'll go to me. Let's just go to the page. I looked at it for a while. I should give it a try. After being ill for a little while, I've still got plenty to do, really. We've got lots and lots to catch up on. Yes, we indeed we have. And we've got the video playing there now. Hang on. I will tell you this. The audio is bloody loud. Yeah, I'm liking that, but I really am, yeah. Yeah, the video's getting down dirty here. Yeah, looks all right to me. Doing what it says on Latin. Nice. So, if you want something arch based, you want a bit of open box so it's nice and clean. Remember, you can get rid of conky up here if you don't want to use it. Just get rid of it. You have it even more blacker than black or wider than white, whatever you want to do. If you want a nice clean desktop, a nice fast system, and based on arch, but not all the hassle with arch, Manjaro box or Manjaro open box version is the one for you. I'm going to give it 89. I rather like it. It's nice. And then again, I like open box. Nicey, nicey. I'm going to see you a bit later. Sneaky Linux going out. And yes, I'm not dead. Bye bye.